In this video, I am going to value a call option. Now, we've done this once before using portfolio, so let me just summarize that. So we've got a market. The market starts at 52, so the stock is trading at 52 today. Risk-free interest rates are 5% continuously compounded. And we made an assumption the stock could go from 52 up to 55 or 52 down to 49. We want to price a call option with a strike of 52 and a maturity of 0.25 years. And what we did was we created a portfolio, which was short an option and long delta shares. We found a delta such that our portfolio was indifferent to whether the stock ended up at 55 or 49. That delta was a half. And we found the portfolio was always worth 24 and a half in 0.25 years. Now we observed that, that portfolio has the same value as being long a zero coupon bond paying 24 and a half in three months. And the present value of that is 24.1957. We then could solve for the call price by observing that these two portfolios are worth exactly the same at all times in the future, and thus they must be worth exactly the same today. So 24.1957 equals 52 delta minus C, and we rearrange and find that C equals 1.8043. What you can see with this particular technique is that this would get really complicated if the binomial tree were a little larger or anything else. So we use risk-neutral probabilities to simplify this. So again, let's do, take the same starting point. We've got our market going from 52 up to 55 or 52 down to 49. We've got our call option with a strike of 52 and a maturity of three months. And we know our call option is either worth $3 if the stock goes up or nothing if the stock goes down. Now, first, we need to calculate our risk-neutral probability P. The formula for P is E to the RT minus D, all divided by U minus D. So we need to calculate U and D. When we look at the risk-neutral probability, we have the stock going from 52 up to 55. So 55 represents S times U, or U is 55 over 52, or 1.0577. D is 49 over 52, or 0 0.9423, and we find P is 60.90%. And we interpret P in the risk-neutral world as the probability of the stock going from 52 to 55. 1 minus P is the probability of going from 52 down to 49. Now to value our call option, we use the following formula. C equals P times DU, where DU is the value of the derivative if the stock goes up, plus 1 minus P times DD, where DD is the value of the derivative if the stock goes down, E to the minus RT. Both DU and DD happen in three months, so we have to discount those values back to today. So C equals 0 0.6090 times 3 plus 0 0.3910 times 0. All of that times e to the minus 0 0.05, the risk-free rate, times 0.25, and we find c equals 1.8043. And this is clearly a much easier way to value our derivative than the first one, but as you can observe, it comes out with the same answer.